you'll find yourself in this situation potentially where you're watching all these different creators. This is called shiny object syndrome. Now, you've been watching one creator for a while, so you watch, you're watching like Iman Gadji or Jordan Platten or something like that, and you think to yourself, I want to start a social media marketing agency. And you maybe spend a little bit of money on courses, or maybe you don't. That's irrelevant in this example, by the way. You'd spend a little bit of money on courses, maybe you don't. You're just using YouTube to help teach yourself. You set up a social media marketing agency. You you maybe get a client, or like you you mess your first couple up. You don't charge the right money. You lose money. You break even. All that kind of stuff. But you're, you're trying to get this business off the ground while still watching their content, but still being in the YouTube business sphere. Then maybe a month or two later, you find yourself stumbling upon another creator who's saying, hey, my name's blah, 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 and I'm going to show you how to build a SaaS business, a software as a service business, and here's like the classic, or here's how you can white label, go high level and resell it, white label this software and sell it as your own and build up, you know, insane monthly cash flow, and you're pushing so hard and you're, you know, you're, you're giving a lot of effort to your previous business your social media marketing agency but this video just seems really good and the offer seems really compelling and the person's very charismatic and and, and and a good good presenter good creator and you think to yourself you know what i'm having a hard time on my social media marketing agency just now maybe i should have a look at this this sass thing so you go and you watch a bunch of videos on the sass thing and it starts again potentially you go and buy a, a course to do with that, maybe you don't, you educate yourself on YouTube, and you start your software as a service business. So that means you have to go and you change, all good mate, all good, <laughs> forgot to lock the door. <laughs> so that means you go and you change all of your social media, so previously you were John Smith, social media marketing agency owner, and that's what you're posting on in your videos, then you change, and you're now John Smith, SaaS business owner, providing software solutions for x y and z and that's what you do you build up this software bank of content you're making videos on that you're pushing it out there you're cold outreach to business owners trying to get them to use your software and so on and so forth and and that that's just where you find yourself so you're back to essentially step two or three of the same situation you were just in you're now pushing hard to do your SaaS business right anyone seen where this is going just now so the next one that comes in is fulfilled by Amazon, and you repeat the process again, you ditch the SaaS, you do the FBA. You're doing the FBA, you're struggling to get that off the ground, then you see something else, and you do that. And this just rolls and rolls and rolls. And inside the space of a year, two years maximum, you've had between five and ten different businesses that you've set up and manage to promote and then decide you don't want anymore and then shut down and change your social media and then you, you've done this like between five and ten times that's one type of person if you want a tree to bear good fruit you need to make sure you're there making sure it's well hydrated it's looked after it's trimmed it's it's in good shape if you expect to have something bear good fruit and a business provide you with a great income and you plan on just sitting around like wonder when this side hustle will take off and someone's going to get in touch with me, you will end up hating business. You'll think business is a load of rubbish and it's not fair and it doesn't work. But do you know why you hate business? Because of yourself, right? So for those of you who's watching this or want to go into business, you want to do something, pick one thing and focus. Pick one thing and focus. doesn't matter what it is. Go If you're watching 20 different YouTube creators, watch the thing that you find most interesting, that you think will be the most fun for you, and that's what you need to focus on. You cannot let your decisions be made by your friends and other people who are starting up businesses and stuff who just maybe aren't quite as mentally there as you. You need to pick one thing and focus and do it to the death. 